Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog, man. It's K510 Automotive Group, man. Today, we got another video, man. This is a video I really enjoy doing because I'm ready to get back in this coupe, man. You know, that E36 thing. All right, cool, man. So, this is what we're doing, man. In this video, man, um, we're about to um, get some work done. So, I want to replace my water pump. Uh, the water pump pulley. I want to install the drive belts. Kind of just want to um, rip down this front end and start replacing things because if you guys can see, this whole garage is full of parts just for this thing, man. So we about to um, tear down the front end, take all this stuff off. I have brand, brand. All of this is I have all of this brand new. Like the front support, grill, um, and yeah. I kind of spray painted this um, so it won't rust. So this is where the repairs were done. Um, all the damage was cut out and all these new pieces were welded in. So yeah, man, um, this video is going to be a very, um, very exciting video for me, at least, you know. Um, last year, um, no, this year, February, I got into an accident um, in my E36. Um, and this whole year, I was just, the beginning of the year, I was just grinding, grinding, stacking up. I also purchased my first home this year, too, so I had, like, all that stuff, like, on my mind, you know, the goals I want to get to this year, so this is one of them. Um, if you haven't seen the previous videos, um, I had, um, gotten the, um, I've gotten, uh, this whole side repaired. All this is new. Um, new fender. I'm uh, got hit in the back too right here. So um, I got this repaired too. Got it pulled back out. So I got new side skirts. Basically, I got a lot of parts, man, that needs to be installed, and I've been putting this on the back burner. So now we're getting into it now. So um, yeah, man, let me set up this camera so we can um, we can get busy, man. All right, guys. So um, we just pulled off the front um, front brace. I don't want to make room to um, get access to the water pump and the belts. You see, the belt is cracked up too. So we need to um, change out the belts. The water pump had to um, got hit. I mean, I mean, from the damage from the impact, um, the water pump could be um, damaged. I already bought a replacement one. Either way it go, we can take it out and inspect it. And um, yeah, even my um AC compressor had cracked in half. It's like damage in the back. Um, I'll take it out and show you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to take off the front end. Cause like I said, I I have all of this new. So I'm gonna go ahead and um remove it. Um, before I install the front um, bracket, I'm gonna um, do all the maintenance, the belts and stuff, and um, yeah. But yeah, this whole side, um, I'll probably add a clip in here to show you all the damage. If you guys haven't seen the video, go back and watch um, the video of me totaling my car. Or the day I did, the day I totaled it, I did a video on it. So go back and check that out. But yeah, I had to get this whole side repaired. Like the um, the frame is all bent up here. Body shop actually straightened it out, and I reinforced that side. All this was all crushed in. They like cut it out and kind of did what they could to save it, you know, and replace this this fender. So yeah, now we're gonna take off the belt and um. Remove the water pump. Thank you. 
gas. I just pulled the old um, water pump out. Um, I'm not sure if it, I mean, it looks like it has a little bit of scoring on the back. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna replace it anyways. You know, I like that the um, the propeller was upgraded. It looked like it's a BMW one too. But I have a cast um, uh, cast on propeller. It's an aftermarket one. But I ain't, I'm not gonna lie, I do like this design from BMW way better than this one with the propeller on it. But um. Like I, I didn't feel any like play in the bearing, but because it was in it, because this um the water pump or the fan clutch got damaged in the impact. You know the fan clutch runs on this um water pump, so um, I thought it was necessary to replace it. You know so just just to take precautions. You know so yeah I'm gonna install this. This is where it came out of. I'm gonna install the water pump and install the belts. All right, guys, we just installed a new water pump. So now we're installing a new water pump pulley. Um, this is an aluminum one. We're upgrading the um, water pump. I mean, now we're deleting the uh, fan clutch. So um, this is just for the belt. Um, yeah, I have aluminum radiator with a fan on it. Um, yeah, I figured I'd upgrade it, you know, since uh, since the accident, I figured I'd just delete the uh, fan clutch. You know, you get a little bit more power on the crank. I mean, power to the crank without the fan clutch on it. And um, I just feel like it's just a little bit more efficient that way. So, yep, so let's put the pulley on and put the belt. Yeah, we just took off the old belt. It was kind of, um, it was really cracked up, so it's time for that belt to go. Uh oh, so we got a new belt, got a fresh, fresh rubber, continental. So we're about to throw on the belt right now. All right, guys, so we got the new belt installed, fairly easy. So, next, we're gonna pull off this. I was there. Um, now there's a. Uh, next, we're gonna pull out the uh, AC compressor. All right, guys. So we got the AC compressor out. So I'll show you the reason why I'm replacing it. See this? Um, there's a bracket that goes right here. This piece of the um compressor. So due to the impact, this piece like broke off. A little compressor. So now I have to get a brand new compressor and this um, compressor line too got damaged, got kinked up right here. So that gave me one of those lines too. So just something to add to the list. But for now, I think that's going to be it for this, um, from this video. I just want to, um, Kind of show you guys what I got going on and give you an update on the E36. So we're actually, we're getting close to bringing it back on the road. All right, guys. Um, I have to replace this uh, front grill. So that's what I'm doing now. It's called a fascia. So I'm going to unbolt that. And I have the new one right here. We're going to install the new one. And, um... Yeah, man, that's the big puzzle, man, getting the front um, front clip back on. So, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to place that and start the new grills. And then next up is to fix all the wiring for the headlights and stuff. It's going to be our stopping point for today, man. Um, we did a lot. Got the new water pump, new belt installed. Got the new front clip installed. And um, yeah, remove the condenser out of here. Cause I'm gonna have to get a new condenser and a new AC compressor. Um, stay tuned for more videos. We got more um more parts to install. If you look around, you see I got a lot of parts that need to be installed on this car. So um, yeah, man. So stay tuned for the next vlog, man. I know this vlog 
It's a little short. I just want to give y'all a little, you know, a quick update. Just want to show y'all that I'm back um, into the car. Um, seeing my homie Jeff um, get his Mazda 6 up and running and even the whole color swap kind of inspired me to kind of um, get back on this car. I had a little momentum um, getting into the shop and ordering all these parts. Um, I was planning to do this like stuff back to back as soon as I got the body shop. But then we had to get ready to um, move into our new home. So kind of put my focus there. But yeah, man, if you're new to the vlog, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, stay tuned. Um, I have a few builds that I'm doing. So stay tuned if you're into like car content. Um, yeah, man. Peace.